John Frame is brilliant, humble, and prolific, and for almost two decades has been a blessing to Reformed Theological Seminary. And there's so many things I could say about John um, that we'd run out of time. I'm personally indebted to Dr. Frame. Um, when I was a young seminary professor at RTS, if I had not had his notes to The Doctrine of the Christian Life, the book that became The Doctrine of the Christian Life, I would have been in real trouble when I was teaching my first pastoral and social ethics class. I, uh, I, had, to, I had to do this at the beginning and the end of that course. Uh, that was how dependent on John Frame I was that week. But his work on the scripture is hugely important to me and to all of us. And of course at RTS, because we're an institution that started because of the issue of the inerrancy of Scripture, I'm especially appreciative of John Frame's commitment to a high view of the inerrancy, infallibility, and authority of the Bible. That's a bedrock commitment for RTS. I think it's absolutely crucial for the health well-being and mission of the church and very few people have done as much for us to help us in that area as Dr. Frank. So I'm, I'm profoundly thankful that I've had the privilege of being his colleague and supporting and extending his influence as a professor and uh, we look forward to his continued fruitfulness in these days ahead. I've been here 17 years. I came here in uh, 2000, and it's been the best 17 years of my uh, teaching and, and scholarly career. I've uh, uh, gotten to know some wonderful people, both on the uh, administration and staff and my colleagues and among the students, and uh, it really is a Christian community, and uh, they have done so much to uh, uh, help me out in uh, writing my books and doing my research and preparing to teach. Uh, uh, all of the facilities are uh, excellent, and uh, uh, in that sense, I, I've just had a wonderful time here. As I leave, I, I think that uh, uh, all seminaries, including RTS, are going to have to give uh, very concentrated attention to uh, uh, what kind of training is necessary to uh, uh, plant churches and to uh, lead people uh, out of the relativism of the modern world, the modern worldview, and uh, uh, lead them to bring every thought captive uh, to the obedience of Christ and how to go to God for the power and the, and the wisdom and the strength to uh, lead people to uh, uh, sound uh, theology of Scripture and a sound uh, uh, way of presenting uh, Christ as Lord and Savior. I think that uh, for many people, uh, residential uh, theological study is the best option. I don't think that this is the only method that, uh, by which people can prepare for the ministry, but I think it's one of the better ones. And in the case of uh, this uh, option, I think that RTS is certainly one of the better uh, seminaries, uh, maybe the best seminary in carrying this out. And uh, for that purpose, I'd recommend RTS.